So I love cyber sides. I love over and unders, I love them. But if there's one pump action I've always wanted to see, it's this. So in 1882, the first commercial pump action was made. That was a Spencer Arms. I believe Spencer and Roper joined forces later on. This is an 1887 Spencer Roper. It is just as good as I ever expected it to be. It is so beautiful and so well made. Let's have a look over it, and then have a look how it is, and then I'll tell you 16 billion reasons why you're not allowed to buy it, because I want it. It is, by the way, for sale in the Holtz December 2021 sale. And it's worth noting that anybody can bid. All you have to do is go on Holtz Auctioneers, register, and you can bid and buy. Export can cost money. Just beware if you're not in England, there is a cost to export. So at the back, you have a horn heel plate. You know, we like to think of American guns, generally over here in England at least, as a little bit utilitarian. This is a very unnecessary addition. And to be fair, it might have been done by the importer who was Watson Bros of London for Pall Mall, who were makers of fine guns then and are still today. So that might be an aftermarket addition. I do not know. I've only ever seen black and white photos of these and a few dodgy low res images on the internet. The wood, standard grade one. The checkering, a very coarse, almost square diamond. I believe it was probably never that refined, but this was a practical and utilitarian gun. The action is the Spencer Rover pivoting breech block. It is quite clever in itself. Um, and I'll show you how that works in a close-up later that I'll probably get wrong, but I do think is amazing. You've got two triggers. This one makes it go bang, uh, and this front one does cock the hammer, so you can either run around with it decocked and recock later. You have a Bakelite-esque front slide grip there. It's tiny, it's really unobtuse, but actually, and it probably sounds stupid, you don't need any more than that. So used to having like the versatility of a multiple point grip with 16 rails and a flashlight on. This is classy. This is as classy and sophisticated as pump actions go. You have a Damascus barrel, black powder proof only. Um, however, it would be at your risk. You could probably get it nitro approved if you really want, or you just speak to Kynox and get a batch of black powder made because when you shoot this gun with black powder cartridges, you're going to feel amazing. You have a twist steel mag tube. That is also really nice. So the barrel is a, a really fine quality Damascus, or a relatively fine quality Damascus. The tube, where it's obviously not a load bearing part, but obviously to match in is a twist steel tube. So you do have some pattern there. Your arms here, that's the thing that sort of catches me most, how big and sturdy these arms are. That is amazing. I am deeply, deeply in love with this gun. Am I mad? Possibly. So how does this work? So after much deliberating, here is how to do it. You pull the slide all the way back. As this comes through, this claw drops through and onto the inside. You pull it all the way back into the cutout and then the whole block tilts up. You then flick it over and load it with your black powder cartridges because you're a dude and you pull this forward. That then goes forward, a cartridge flies back into the bottom half of this breech, all the way back. Job done. It is probably the most satisfying pump action out there where it's a bit spring loaded and a bit cool. I really like that a lot. Quite a nice thing that I, I do like is that you can decock the hammer. You can pull this back trigger whilst holding the front and that actually takes the pressure off the hammer. So you could potentially walk around with this loaded. There's probably, you know, we're rolling on 19, 1887 safety rules here. And then when you're ready, you can cock that to go. Interestingly, this gun did not have any commercial success in England whatsoever, at all. In fact, this being one of the first pump actions to the market is probably one of the reasons that um, <laughs> pump actions were poo-pooed. You know, it's a funny one that you know, we were using breech loading, the finest breech loading cyber sides pretty much ever built by 1887. Uh, not quite, but we're on our route to having the finest cyber side side locks ever built in 1887. Some of the best guns were still made then, just not to the sort of modern modern standards. You would have thought in an era of double gunning, they would have thought the um, 
increased rate of fire and practicality of one of these would really catch on, but they didn't at all. At all. And I find it fascinating that this could be the point, realistically, where English and American gun cultures, not that they weren't significantly different by that point anyway, but our, our love of sporting guns probably changed and the Americans went down the practicality route and we stuck to our guns, pardon the pun, and used best English side locks and box locks and very slowly, over a hundred years, decided that over and unders were acceptable. Um, I do feel like we're gonna be about 150 years late to the party when, you know, a shooting game with one of these is allowed. Unfortunately, where it's five shot, it's not actually allowed because the first thing that sprung to mind is wouldn't it be lovely to take this out pheasant shooting? When somebody comments, you go, excuse me, Mr. 32 inch Peralzi, put it away. I have the glassier gun here. I absolutely love this. I say, as you can see, you've got the Watson brothers put down the side of the action there. And on the top of the barrels, you have Spencer Arms Company, Windsor, OT USA, patent 1882. I love it. It could be the nicest pump action design ever. Is it the most efficient? Probably not. But efficiency isn't why we fall in love with guns, is it? Like. Inherently, you can go and buy something really practical and sensible, but not everyone in the world drives a VW Golf or a Mondeo, because that would be boring. And this, to me, represents all of the joy and beauty of shooting a hammer gun, but, you know, just with a little bit of yeehaw. I can't help but smile to look at it the fact it's Damascus, the sort of thing that you're going to show to someone who isn't quite such a gun-loving lunatic, right geek, and they'll go, you can't have a, you know, what's that? And you go, have a look, you go, it's Damascus. And you go, yeah, it's 140 years old. It's amazing. What more can you say apart from this is the sweetest pump action I have ever held?